explanation. I am Dr. Mary Jean Holt. I'm the wellness manager at our Dyersburg campus of Hexpo Compounding, and I am excited to be with you again today to continue our conversation about wellness. And as we mentioned in our last session, I am introducing all of you in the nation to our wellness rule of five. And this is the five rules that our wellness team has come up with to simplify our pathway to creating optimal health and wellness in our, in our lives. And that's by changing our lifestyle. So as you may remember, our wellness rule of five, number two, is mind, body, and spirit. And what we're interested in with, with rule number two, as we consciously al align our thoughts and intentions with our words and actions and our beliefs and our positive expectations, everything we do has a greater potential for creating success and happiness in our lives. And remember, in wellness, when I'm talking about success, I am talking about happiness. We want to feel good, we want to function well, and above all, we want to be happy. Research shows that every time we do anything, no matter what the activity, if we're happy when we start out, we are more likely to be successful in that endeavor. And so aligning mind, body, and spirit is absolutely essential uh, to being successful. On the next slide that I want to share with you for this month, um, I'm giving you, again, a, an, an activity that I suggest that you try out. So the activity for this coming month is, again, to reflect upon your future. Last, in our last session, I talked about reflecting upon your past and your, your past successes. And now I'm suggesting, let's think about our future and whatever goal, whatever lifestyle change that we would like to make. Because we're always, we're always changing. I'm always refining my goals as far as my health and wellness. Um, I'm taking the class, even though I'm teaching the class, I'm taking it right along with y'all. I'm doing every th single thing that I'm uh, suggesting that all of our associates do, both here in Dyersburg and across the nation. So to think forward, what would I like to change in my lifestyle? And then start playing around with that. What would that feel like to have already accomplished that goal? and start building on, once again, that feeling of success and really owning it from the inside, setting your intention. Then you can get out your journal, because remember we talk about journaling here at Hexball. Get out that journal, write down your intention, and focus on that every single day. And then align your thoughts, your actions, your words with your belief system and your positive expectation. And that goal is going to be created with so much more ease. It is on its way into your life as long as you stay focused and as long as you align your mind, body, and spirit. I have the opportunity to have a conversation with my co-founding member of the wellness team, <laughs> Mark Waldron. And Mark has had some wonderful uh, personal wellness wins that he's going to share with us. And so, Mark. Thank you so much for being with us. Very well. I'm very excited to spend this time together. Mm -hmm. And um, what I want to ask first of all, what was your experience when you had a wellness win that was big, when you decided to do something to change your lifestyle, to make a difference in your life? What were the, uh, the circumstances and how did that impact you? How did you move forward? Mm -hmm. And what was that like for you? Um, in November of last year uh, had felt like I'd slipped slipped into some type of depression and uh, really didn't know it and in November of last year I decided to change my mind and I put that actually put that on my nightstand and on the mirror so I would see that every morning when I got up and yes. uh, so I started working on changing my mind uh, and uh, I started working out a little bit, and so I trained heavily years before. Right. And uh, I had stopped when I took this job at Hexpaw. Uh, I started. I focused on the job, try to learn the business, right. and understand it better. But all that training that I did, I was always on an endorphin high. Right. And I really never knew that I was missing that. And right. then when I decided to change my mind and started back exercising. Things started uh, clearing up a little bit, but uh, like you said, the universe brings things to you that you need, and then you showed up, and uh, 
then the uh, then I realized that uh, mind, body, spirit, the three go together, and yes. when you start aligning those up, yes. then you can actually achieve some pretty amazing things. So right. um, wow. that was uh, that was probably the biggest step as you coming into my life and me just really listening wow. to what you had to say, wow. and uh, probably the big, biggest wins I started having as soon as I started eating whole foods, my mind cleared up. And uh, my eyesight got better, and then my cholesterol went down. Yes, and, uh, I saw the, the yes, blood chemistry reports. Yes, I had 601 points in triglycerides down yes. in just a couple of months. And uh, yeah. then I started training for a marathon. And then I PR'd at the first half marathon that I did back. I felt great. Now explain the PR. So uh, per, that's a, that is a uh, personal record. Yes, I ran personal many, record. Yes, I ran many marathons in my past but that yes. was the fastest half marathon <laughs> that I'd ever run four years later uh-huh. uh, so so just the inspiration that I that you've given me uh-huh. and the uh, the positive energy mm-hmm. and understanding that there is energy out there and if you're given out positive energy you get positive energy back Absolutely. Uh, when the when that happens it's it's a very intimate gift yes. you know that it came together because of the way you're thinking and and bringing positive energy to the world and other people yes. and uh so you came along and i've got uh randy i mean jason Lyatt has yes. came came and he's training me uh for uh my next big goal which is iron man in 2019 right so, right so. you had mentioned that yes, the yes. Iron so man. I, I, yeah. did, I did iron man back uh four years ago mm-hmm and uh, I, after I quit training, and then I, I went into the depression, and now that I'm back, I'm, I'm realizing those goals, and they can actually be achieved. And the yes. thing about it is this great team has been formed around me to help me accomplish this goal. Absolutely. I probably would have never recognized that yeah. if I hadn't known that, hey, I'm going to be receiving good things from the universe, and it's <laughs> right. going to work for me, and it's, it's working out, and yes. it's... Uh, And it really is. This is beautiful. I just want to recap for everybody because you've said a lot. Yes. But what what Mark is actually validating is the beauty of aligning your thoughts Mm -hmm. with your actions, with your intentions, and with that positive belief, knowing that you can accomplish Mm -hmm. what you're setting out to accomplish. And the idea that, I I want to mention this too because... I just want to make it clear that if you're used to working out really, really hard, because when we work out, our body creates these chemicals. They're called endorphins. They're the uh, endo means inside. They're the chemicals that are made outside. I mean, inside of us, which are like opioids. They mm-hmm. they are our internal chemical that makes us feel really good. And you get that through uh, through exercise. Mm-hmm. And so when he stopped exercising, when he came to work and was focusing on work, he stopped exercising, and he wasn't aware of that connection, and he was feeling low, kind of depressed, Mm -hmm. just not realizing it was that lack of endorphins all of a Mm -hmm. sudden. So um, this is a beautiful thing to now understand why that was going on, and also to have changed his mind to have to to start back exercising and now that's changed your life and how everything really has come together beautifully for you. It has and the one thing that you said that was like a aha moment for me yes is you know I wanted to change my mind yes and uh, but the thing about it is you told me people believe that the mind speaks to the heart right right and right. the biggest thing for me is you told me that the heart actually speaks to the mind yes so it's really this your spirit. Yes. inside of you that's keeping you going and it, it drives the mind that is so true. once you f- flip that upside down and realize that it's your heart and it's your spirit that's moving moving you through this life yes uh it's not a mental thing anymore that's right. it, it becomes completely spiritual and that's where mm-hmm. the alignment comes in yes when you get yes. aligned uh-huh. body mind spirit you can do anything yes oh mark that's beautiful and this is true this is science that it is the heart that is sending messages to the brain then the brain uh, tells the body what chemicals to make, but the, the it, it's our our lives are being run by our heart, mm. and the more we understand that, then it's easier to put these our thoughts into alignment mm. with our body, mind, spirit. 
Wow, what a beautiful testimony. Is there anything else that you would like to share with mm -hmm. the nation? I'll just say, just, just uh, start listening to your heart and your inner man and, uh, and start believing positive and positive energy and, and, and believing in people. And, yes. Uh, yes. and when you come into a room, you want them to feel positive energy coming from you and nothing negative I you know right. that you know it, it's just so much more uh it's so much easier yes <laughs> to be positive and, it to, is. It and is. when you're when you're following your heart it, it makes life a lot easier because That's our right. mind goes in a thousand different directions yes so when you yes. when, but your heart's got one thing in mind, and that's yes. what's pleasing to, to God and, yes. and and the people around you. So. Oh, that is so beautifully stated, Mark. Thank you so much. A, a beautiful testament to aligning mind, body, and spirit. So thank you so much for being with us, and thank you all for being with us. Yes. And I look forward to speaking with you in our next segment. Bye now.